opponent uh -huh. from Jacksonville, Florida. Weighing 230 pounds, Elijah Welcome to a night of extreme action emanating from Phoenix, Arizona. The Southwest has been anxious for ECW, and we're here to deliver. These fans are so loud, I could hardly even hear you. Combined with tonight's great card, I could not be happier. They're <clears throat> only going to get louder as the night progresses. I can already tell it's going to be a wild night. I like Elijah Burke, man. He's got fists like a jackhammer. Why someone with so much raw talent <laughs> would feel the need to resort to tactics like that will never make any sense to me. It took the fans quite a while back in the day to warm up to Tommy Dreamer. Man, that's why foreign objects are a superstar's best friend. Well, I guess that depends on which end of the object you're on. He's putting that weapon in good use here. No doubt. Ah, uh, you don't win a match by taunting your opponent like that. Not technically, but getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. <laughs> the silver-tongued pugilist Elijah Burke has one of the loudest mouths in all of sports entertainment. He can... Well, oh, you're not going to last long if you keep getting hit by that. You got that right. I don't care how tough you are. to have the best seat in the house for this match. This is what it's all about, being front row for the best sports entertainment action on the planet. What's going through the minds of these combatants right now? About a million different things. Here's the deal, you've got to think several steps ahead of your opponent, especially in this caliber of a match. It really is a game of human chess. Yeah, and I'm stuck next to the lowly poor. Think of the buckets of blood. Okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why don't you quit showing off and get down to business here? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? These competitors seem a little tentative in there. If you took the bumps and bruises they did, you would be too. I guess you're right, partner. Every time you go to inflict punishment, there's a chance it'll be inflicted on you instead. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars of the ring. Well, I sure wasn't expecting to sit on their hands the whole night. There's two things that I like about Elijah Burke. Yeah, that's it. Do it again. I know physical punishment is part of the game, but I can't believe you're enjoying this so much. Ugh. Watch it. He reversed it. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum oh. dead. <clears throat> he anticipated that move perfectly. Oh. How do you compare today's superstars with those when you were active in the ring? Not like I'm uh, Ed the Strangler Lewis over here. I've been in the ring with a lot of guys on that WWE think that was ever meant to be used like that. Creativity has its advantages. Ugh. Who do you
you think has the advantage in this matchup? It's too close to call. It all boils down to who wants it the most and what they're willing to sacrifice to get it. They don't get it. Why not go in for the kill? I think this superstar has a game plan and is determined to stick to it. That's all well and good, but what you think up in the locker room and what happened... It appears he's bleeding from that last shot. Wow, you're not kidding. He's been open up for sure. Now would be a good time for the ref to check the severity of that injury. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You know something? I'm not really sure if he can spare it. He slipped out of that one. I was talking to one of these superstars before the show, and they let me in on a little secret strategy we were planning. Oh, man, what a chair shot. Brings me back to the original ECW days. I was around back then, too. I don't have as much nostalgia for steel chairs to the skull. Look at this momentum. It's the Elijah Express. That's it. This has got to be done. On the mat. Shoulders down. One, this could be it. Two, three. 